Ngi kusema, hiyo hoja iletwe hapa, tuisikize sote kwa pamoja. Asante. Senator Gloria. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As a staunch defender of women and women rights, I stand to oppose the motion that has uh, been tabled by Senator Ledama. Mr. Speaker, I've been on record talking about fair hearing. I've been on record talking about transparency, Mr. Speaker. And I believe wherever Governor Kawera is seated and watching and following, I believe that I speak on behalf of her thoughts today that she wants to come to the public finally to defend and to tell us what is really happening, Mr. Speaker. And plenary offers her that opportunity, Mr. Speaker. As women leaders, we are tired of people insinuating that we are flower girls, insinuating that we are being protected. Let her come to plenary, Mr. Speaker, and defend her leadership and defend what th she thinks or she assumes is good governance, Mr. Speaker. Because as women of this country, women leaders, Mr. Speaker, we are tired of being assumed. So, Mr. Speaker, I support that we go for plenary. Number two, Mr. Speaker, I want to say this, that I, I really want to question, since the last report was tabled of Governor Kawira's impeachment, how many of the 67 senators have actually read that report? and can actually tell us that these were the grounds of letting her go. Mr. Speaker, we all know that we trust the committees to do the job and we trust their leadership, Mr. Speaker. And so therefore, when the report is tabled, we trust that the committee has done a good job. But for once, Mr. Speaker, especially for us new senators, we want to interrogate all these questions that are being raised concerning her impeachment, Mr. Speaker. And I stand here, I'm saying this as a staunch defender, a devoted and committed woman leader who really supports women leadership. We would like to see Governor Kawera in plenary so that she can be able to speak on her own behalf and even defend women leaders who are defending her out there. And if she's found guilty, Mr. Speaker, I will be the first one I'll be the first one to say this woman must go home. And if she's found innocent, Mr. Speaker, I will be the first one again, yet again, as we walked with her down these corridors, to walk with her and show people that women leaders can be given a chance and they can deliver. So I don't think that there's an issue of what we are debating. Let Governor Kawira come to plenary and defend her position. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Sigay. 